Hey, what's up guys, it's Wise Guy Vito here. And today I have a primary tier list when fighting against the automatons. Thank you so much for the traction and the support on the last video. As the recording of this video, I have 11K views and that's never really happened before. So I really thank you guys so much for the, for the support. And almost to 500 subscribers now, which means that we can possibly have a join button soon. You guys are great. I love this community of hell diving fanatics, bug killing freaks, democracy spreading automaton destroyers. It really, really means a lot. You have no idea. But like like I always say, keep it up. It it, it really does want to make me push and make more videos like this. As always, like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And hopefully we can reach that thousand subscriber mark, maybe sooner than possible, who knows? Like I said before, this video will be covering primaries against the automatons. So real quick, before we get into the tier list, um, I need to go over kind of what the tiers are gonna be. So S tier is going to be that there's no downsides to it. It's great in every scenario. A tier, there's some flaws to it, but once you overcome those flaws with practice, it becomes a very good gun and you can definitely use it in 79 difficulty. B tier, it, has i mean like it's average but it, but it does have some niche uses to it but you can still kind of use it in 79 difficulty c tier is below average it definitely needs some sort of buff to it to make it to where it is more usable but it has a very 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 niche case to it but it's still it's it's okay it it definitely sees some buffs and d tier is it's 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 not good it's it it, it needs a complete overhaul or there's going to be some weapons in this case where it's just not effective against the automatons. Just don't use it. But if you still want to use it, it 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 still does some work, I guess. But I would not personally use it. There are some way better guns out there that handle automatons better. Or maybe the gun is just really, really bad and needs a complete rework or just a lot of buffs to make it to where it's usable. So let's get straight into it. So the Adjudicator... I feel like is still C tier. Um, it it's really you're wanting to hit those headshots, especially for like the bigger enemies. So it's so like we're talking about like devastators, the shield guys, rocket devastators. You know, you want to hit those headshots. And this gun, ergonomics, it feels absolutely awful. It feels really, 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 really bad. You know, once they fix the ergonomics and the handling, this is definitely going to be you know an A tier weapon. But currently as it sits, you know, yes, they fixed the ammo issue with it because it was a, it was a very ammo hungry gun because there wasn't a lot of ammo to it. The amount of it jumping around and everything else, it's just not that great. It definitely needs some love as far as handling goes. Once they fix that, it'll be better. The Blitzer, I feel like the Blitzer is B tier. So the reason why that the Blitzer is really, really good against bugs, but it's not really good against automatons is that the bugs don't shoot at you, right? The bugs just basically just face rush you. And what the Blitzer does really, really well is that it chains to different enemies, right? It does chain, don't get me wrong, and it does stun. So, like, things like the uh, the Chainsaw guys, the uh, Berserkers, it does pretty well against them because they're charging at you, right? Like, they're not shooting at you. But you need a ranged gun against the Automatons, right? Other than that, you know, it's, 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 it's average. It's fine. You know, like, the saving grace to it is that it did have a rate of fire increase. That's what makes it better. It also stuns, and also makes it better, but it's just too short of a range that I can comfortably say that to to, to really use this in automatons, but it still has some, some niche uses to it, right? Uh, the Breaker Shotgun, I still feel like the Breaker Shotgun's really good against automatons. Um, it's, really good, it's really good against Berserkers because you can cut them in half. This thing still has crazy range to it. Um, it used to be S tier a long time ago, right? It... it it, it was one of the better guns, if not the best gun in the game, because of how quickly it killed things. It no longer does that now. It still kills quickly, but it just, it's it's more of an ammo-hungry gun. With that ammo-hungriness of the gun, it's definitely not S-tier anymore, but you're getting some trade-offs with it, right? It still competes to 789 difficulties. I've rated this in 789 difficulties. It does fine, but you know going into it that you're going to have to get ammo a lot with this gun. Which is fine, you know. I th I think that's where the breaker should be. Breaker A tier. Try it in 79 difficulties. Hopefully you guys see what I'm what I'm saying currently. Counter sniper I feel is either A or S. I've been using it a lot more in 79 difficulties, 
and I feel it is very good now. Um, I think the only problem with it is, and I think of the recording of this video, that the side alignment has been fixed. I think this is one of the guns that was affected by the side alignment issue. This can one-shot headshot devastators now, which is a big game changer, right? It is the better diligence. Before the diligence, the regular diligence was the better diligence than the counter sniper. But since they buffed not only the ergonomics of this gun, but also the damage of this gun, it can one shot headshot devastators. It's a very, very, very good, I would almost say opener. So like you see a patrol coming up and you know you have to take out that patrol, you can definitely use this gun. It is fantastic to use. It feels really good to use currently, in my opinion. You know, like definitely give this gun a try. You know, it's, you know, there's no harm in trying, but I do think it competes. Um, I have to test a little bit more as far as the side alignment goes, because if the side alignment feels really good on this gun, it may jump up to S tier against the automatons. But I, I feel like, you know, like I've been using this almost solely on automatons because it feels really good to use. Uh, the diligence, I don't think it is as good as the counter, as the counter sniper. But it does do well against like mobs. It can, I believe it can two tap devastators. I feel like the counter sniper, what makes the counter sniper better is that you can hit those long range shots. Whereas the, the diligence, you can hit those long range shots. It's just a little bit more difficult. But diligence is still, is is, is actually like in a really good place right now. Um, again, these, these two weapons in particular, they're really, really good against automatons. I don't think they're that good against bugs. Um, I've been using the counter sniper a little bit more. I think the counter sniper is actually better against the bugs than the regular diligence is, just because it has medium armor pen. Which, by the way, the medium armor pen is also really good against automatons as well. But definitely, like the marksmen's are definitely better against automatons now, compared to compared to where they were before. They were kind of good against the automatons before, but now they're better. The defender, I think, is a tier. Um, if you run this with a with the ballistic shield, it's you know marginally better. It is a little bit better. The Defender is still the best auto rifle in the game. You know, it's it's a it's a submachine gun. You can use it one-handed. You can shoot while running away. Um, that's another thing as well. That's 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 also very very good about the weapon as well. Like it's a it's a very versatile weapon. It has good power to it. it. Actually has a decent rate of fire too, so so that you can hit those headshots on devastators and and like the more medium armor um, enemies in the game. So it does have a lot of uses against the automatons. Use it, it's still really, really good. I don't think it's S tier, um, but I do think it, it's 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 probably like one of the most versatile weapons. The Dominator, I, I think it's S tier. It's really good against, uh, it's, it staggers, handles, hordes very, very well. I'm gonna see automatons, it's actually a great range weapon. Um, you know, there's, I mean like, what else is there to say about the Dominator, right? It is really good. The damage nerf to the gun, I don't feel it. I still feel like it overkills things. Still, they nerfed it by twenty, uh, like like by twenty five damage or something. It went, over, it went from three hundred to, to two seventy five. The gun still, is, the gun fit, you know, feels really really good to use. If you have berserkers coming at you, you can stun them with this gun because they, because again, like they increase the stagger force of this gun. It's it's a very 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 good gun. You know. Definitely use it in 79 difficulties. The Eruptor, I think, is A tier still. Um, recently, they they did take the shrapnel part away, so it might feel a little bit better to use. Um, they also increased in the in, in the latest patch, which came out today, uh, which is May 7th. Um, they increased the damage by 40, the explosive damage by 40. And they remove the shrapnel part. Basically, what was happening is, is that if you shot at something, even with, even if it was like a flat surface at times, the shrapnel would ricochet back to you and kill you. This has happened to me multiple times on automatons. Um, and now I haven't tested the gun out yet, but I feel like it's still a tier because it can still blow up fabricators. It still has a lot of utility to it, and it can still hinder mobs pretty pretty well. But Again, I do some testing on whether or not like the shrapnel has actually decreased this gun, but so far, like I don't think that the shrapnel stuff is a really big deal. I do think that the identity of the weapon has now has all been lost because now it's an explosive sniper instead of being an explosive shrapnel sniper, which I think the shrapnel part was what made the gun cool, and now it's no longer that now, right? Um, but it's still pretty good. You know, like I was playing around with it yesterday, 
and I was using it on terminids, I was using it on automatons, and it still felt felt pretty good to use, regardless of the ricochet things. I personally, I think they should remove the ricochet stuff, personally. Um, I, I don't know why they changed the ricochet to begin with, but you know, it is what it is. It's, it's just kind of a, a strange change to me. Um, the explosive crossbow, I heard a lot of people say that the that the explosive crossbow rework was to make it into a stealthy option. I think stealth in hell divers is somewhat viable. However, with each patch that goes by, I feel like stealth is being more and more nerfed. Like this is just me. If they made the crossbow into a stealth option, I think they did a really bad job because the gun does not feel good to use <laughs> against the automatons. I think it feels okay against the uh, the terminids, but even then, I you know, like in the last video, I put it in C tier for terminids. Um, it 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 just doesn't feel really good against the automatons, like at all. I think they should revert the changes and keep the the arrow muzzle velocity to it. Even in if they did that, it would be a B tier weapon in my opinion. The gun just doesn't feel really, really good against the automatons. It just doesn't. You know, I, I kind of think that they need to rework the gun back to where it was before and just keep the arrow uh, velocity, the you know, where it is now, and then the gun would be in a good spot. Um, Slugger, I think it's probably B tier. It used to be really good against the automatons. Um, it still is good. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I just think that with the amount of stuff that the automatons are developing right like in-game lore or whatever right um i think that it kind of falls off just a smidgen but it's still it's still pretty good um you know it 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 you know like you can still hit those headshots you can still kill devastators you know well with it i just don't think it's i just don't think it was it. i don't think it's currently good as it was before i just don't um, they nerfed the ammo to it as well, and I think they decreased the fall-off damage to it. Um, but for the most part, I think it's, you know, I think it's fine. I think it's average where it's at. The incendiary shotgun, I would not use the incendiary shotgun, my friend, on automatons. You can still use it. That's fine. You know, it's still, you know, like, you know, it does pretty decent uh, against the, you know, like the smaller bots. Um, some devastators and the berserkers, like some berserkers. Um, but with, D with, with dot... Dot is now fixed, by the way, um, as of the latest patch. But it's like this gun is not meant for automatons, like at all. Like there are actually some, actually the Hulks are just completely immune to fire, completely, right? You know, fire is not really what you want to use on automatons. You just want to just hit them with m more like energy-based weapons, so like the Scorcher and, and the Plasma Shotgun, which by the way, we will get into those. Uh, but the Incendiary Shotgun, I would not use it is in my opinion it is a weapon specifically for terminids it's very very good against the terminids but it's not really good against the automatons the concussive liberator i almost want to put it in c tier because it's not really that good <laughs> against it well actually no I'll, I'll put it in b the reason why that i'll probably put it in b is because of the stagger force the stagger force actually interrupts enemies pretty well and whenever you have a gajillion things just shooting at you and causing you to flinch it's it kind of feels good to flinch them back and to kind of be that support teammate that kind of relieves some of the pressure. Liberator Penetrator, um, it feels better, but I still feel like it kind of sucks just a bit. I feel like it is a better Adjudicator to a degree. Now the Adjudicator, I feel like has more oomph to each shot, but the Adjudicator, like it just feels bad to you still. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why they can't get the you know, like why Arrowhead can't get the feel of these assault rifles on point. It just doesn't feel good to use, um, either in third person or or in first person with the scope. It just feels really, really bad to use still. It has medium armor pen, you know, so that's a plus. You know, it just needs more um, ergonomic changes to it or handling changes, and then it'd be probably like an A tier weapon at that point. The regular ass liberator, I feel like, is average. You know, they 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 buff the 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 weapon's damage. You know, that's a nice addition, but it is a beginner's weapon. Once you move on to like the bigger and badder things in the game, it's time to switch off of it and to use something else. You know, for an average gun, it goes into the average tier because you know 
it feels average, you know, like it feels okay. The Super Citizen Submachine Gun, I don't even know what the name of this is. I just call it the Super Citizen Submachine Gun because it comes with the Super Citizen edition of the game. I feel like it's 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 okay. It's It doesn't feel as good as the Devastator. You can still one you know, like one hand it. You can run away shooting or whatever. It's just a very very fast fight. It's like a P90. Like you know, like you just fire it really quickly and try to get as much damage as possible. It's it's okay. Like I said, like it's 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 an average submachine gun. There's nothing you know like very wow about it. You know, it's 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 fine. Uh, Plasma Punisher definitely S tier. They buffed the projectile speed of the of the weapon and it feels really really good against stop times. Uh, you can stagger stagger them pretty well. Energy-based weapons like the Plasma Punisher and the Scorcher are just really fucking good against the automatons. Like very, very good. Like they can like you can kill them really, really quickly. And it's there's an ease of use to both these guns. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Scorcher up here as well. The Scorcher, I think the Scorcher is better uh, because you don't have to arc the uh the orb. But here's the thing though, right? It depends on when, on your playstyle with these guns, right? So the Punisher, you can shoot and lob it, right? And it creates a, a little explosion. So you, it's, it's like you don't have to be as precise with it, right? And it still does really, really good damage against medium armor enemies like Devastators and such, right? Uh, the Scorcher, on the other hand, uh, if you're like way more precise, you know, as long as you're hitting body shots on them, you're dealing really good damage still. And you're going to take down the Devastators really, really quickly. Um, and that goes for, for Berserkers too. Um, but range, like super ranged enemies, Scorcher's better. Um, Berserkers or anything that's like up close-ish to even somewhat medium range, uh, the Punisher does really, really well. And, you know, it's, again, like it, it just depends on like the whole play style thing. I'm going to actually move these like up here because like I think, I feel like these two guns are battling out as like the best guns in the game. And, you know, I, I just I just feel like they're they're very, very good against automatons and they're still really, really good against the, the, the Terminants, but against the automatons in particular, it's very, very good against them. Uh, the Punisher shotgun, the, the pumpy, um, it does OK. It it rips through uh, Berserkers pretty well because it does a lot of damage up front um, at that longer ranges doesn't really do that really do that well. You know, like once you get out of that close range where it actually does work, the, the gun falls off hard, but it's still fine. It's okay. It's average. The scythe, I think, is A tier. You have to kind of play around with it a bit to kind of get used to like the headshot stuff. But but once you're able to hit those headshots, you can be able to bring down stuff pretty quickly. Imagine like a mini laser cannon, and then that's what you have. You know, it does, it actually is very well. One of the worst guns in the game, if not the worst gun in the game, has now become an A tier gun in my mind. The sickle, I feel like is A tier. I have problems with this gun, sometimes headshotting, uh, but once you hit those headshots, it feels really, really good to use. And the spray and pray, I think is really bad against the automatons. Um, I feel like it's better against the Terminids, like overall, because again, like it's more of like a heavy ad, like like a small ad clear weapon. Um, it does really good against bots, sure, you know, um, but anything that's bigger than a bot it really falls off hard uh, because you're using bird shot compared to buck shot or slugs or something right um and of course like it falls off hard whenever you get into that close range shooting it falls off super super hard um but you know i kind of want to see a, a rework to this gun again in my opinion like it feels better i guess against terminates still feels really shit against the automaton so that's my tier list Comment down below what you guys think. I can't wait to see what you, you know, like where I'm wrong at, where I'm right at. Um, you know, thank you guys so much for the support over the past couple of days. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.